Hi and welcome back to Techy Anshi. In this video, we are going to understand a Pareto chart and how you can create that using Tableau. So let's get right into this video. Things that we'll discuss today and the key learnings that you'll have from this particular session today would be what is the 80-20 rule? Examples of 80-20 rule. Some application where the 80-20 rule can be applied. What is a Pareto chart and how to read it? Also, we will discuss a Pareto chart in Tableau with step-by-step -step tutorial using a proper use case. So let's dive right into this video. Now, what is an 80-20 principle? 80-20 principle states that roughly 80% of the results come from 20% of efforts. And to achieve the rest 20% of results, you have to put in 80% of efforts. This principle does not apply to every single thing on this universe, but is definitely relevant to a few things. Let's talk about a few examples and the scenarios where this can apply or this applies. 80% of taxes in India come from 20% of people, which means that the rest 80% of the people only pay 20% of the taxes. 80% of congestion happens on 20% of roads. So the bottleneck for road congestion is only these 20% of roads that you have. Similarly, 20% of employees drive 80% of a company's business. That's a true fact and that's how the 80-20 principle applies. As I said, this is an approximate principle and it may or may not apply to your use case, right? And for that, you basically use a Pareto chart to see if the 80-20 principle applies to your scenario or not. Now, this is all good, but where can you apply the 80-20 principle? Major application of this principle is in strategic decision making. When you want to identify problem areas or bottlenecks and then prioritize the ones that you should work on in scenarios where you want to make decisions, this can be very helpful. For example, like we discussed about the traffic conditions, if you knew which roads are leading to maximum traffic, you could just work on those 20% of roads to mitigate 80% of traffic. I just love this one image that I found on the net, which says sometimes we start looking at the smaller things and we just don't forget that the bigger things are falling on us. And these causes are actually not worth our time. So this is where the 80-20 principle comes handy. You can know what you need to first focus upon. Now we all know that products could be defective and working on those can be very tiresome. But what if you could know that 80% of your products that are defective are coming from a specific part of your assembly line? Wouldn't it be easy for you to just work on those instead of working on the entire assembly line? Yes, that's exactly what you would do if you want to enhance your product quality using the 80-20 principle. Increasing overall productivity. As you know, the 80-20 principle helps you to prioritize things, which means that it will let you know what things need immediate attention and the things if you work on, which will reap you the maximum benefits. Wilfredo Pareto founded the Pareto chart, which could be used to see if 80-20 rule applies to your data. This chart is basically a dual axis chart, which is a combination of a line chart and a bar chart and is created using one dimension and one measure, right? So you need a dimension that is your X axis or the categories and your Y axis is basically a measure. All the categorical values are represented in a bar chart in the descending order of the measure value. So the bars that are longer or with the maximum measure values would be on the left side and the ones that are shorter with minimum measure values would be on the right. The line chart represents the cumulative total of each category, which means what is the contribution of each category to create a 100% of sum total. 
As I said, it is a simple dual axis chart with a line and a bar chart combination. So let's dive and see how you can create one. For our case study today, we are using carbon dioxide emission from different countries and check if this particular data follows the 80-20 rule or not. So let's dive right into this video and start with opening our Tableau dashboard. Let's begin by connecting our data, which is the world indicators data. Over here, as I said, we'll need two fields. One is the measure field, which is the carbon dioxide emission levels. We'll pull that onto the row shelf. And similar to that, we have our country region field, which is our dimension. And that is something we'll pull into our column shelf. Now, as you know, this is a descending bar chart. So we'll sort this into a descending order of the carbon dioxide emission. Once this is ready, in the row shell for the sum of carbon dioxide emission, hold on and control and drop it again. This will create two bar charts. For the second one, we are going to use to be able to create the Pareto chart. So right click on it, quick table calculation running total. You can see it forming like a Pareto chart right now. Again, right click and edit the table calculation. This will be a running total on the country region. And you also need to add a secondary calculation, which is the percentage of total again on the country region. So what this is going to do is going to create the cumulative percentage of total by each of these different countries. You can change the marks card for each one of them. The first one should be a bar chart and the second should be a line chart. So I'm just going to do that as well. As you know, this is a dual axis chart. So right click on this and click on dual axis. This will convert this chart into a proper dual axis chart. You can see the line chart and also the bar chart. Let's fit this to an entire view and now color code the line chart basis the carbon dioxide emission. So let's pull in the field over here onto the color shelf. This will give it the color. Now on the color shelf, you can edit the color and choose a color that you would like. I am choosing over here the orange, blue, white diverging and it's your choice as to whatever you want to choose. Now click on apply and OK. This will edit the colors for the line chart over here as you can see. Now you could also add in the points for each of the different countries by using a marker. Once this is done, if you don't like this color, you can still switch out to a different color, I think, because of the white, it is looking uh, faded out in one portion. So I'm just switching it out as well and changing the color of the bar to a black bar chart, because I think that would complement with the overall uh, feel of this particular chart. So I'm just going to edit that and you can also edit the size or the width of the bar as you need. Right. So you could do that as well and even of the line chart as you would like to. So once both of these are properly formatted and you have them, all you have to do is add the country region onto the filter shelf. And let's just take the top 100 by the sum of carbon dioxide emission because I don't want to clutter this view with a lot of different countries, right? So as you can see now, I have just the top 100 countries uh, with the carbon dioxide emission uh, rate, right? So this is how my chart is looking like. Right? It is still cluttered, but it is better than how it used to look earlier. Feel free to play around with the aesthetics so that it looks as and how you want it to look like. So I'm just going to make a few more cosmetic changes and then we should be set for this particular dashboard. So now that we have our line chart and the bar chart, which is the part of the Pareto principle, let us see if this data applies the 80-20 rule or not, right? So for that, I'm going to go to the analytics pane and pull in the constant line onto my second marks card. What this would do is it will create a line for my reference to see where it is. I'm setting it to 80% to know which countries are falling under that. You can see it's just falling in between Indonesia and Ukraine over here. Once this is ready, as you remember, our Pareto chart wants to test out if the 20% of the countries or region have the 80% carbon dioxide emission. So for that, we will have to make the dimensions as well into a measure. For that, for the country region, right click on it, measure and count distinct. 
when you do this some of your calculations would break so always remember to first pull in your country region onto the details shelf of both your marks card and only then proceed with this measure calculation once it is set to count distinct we are going to use a similar table calculation as to what we did for the other field so this is going to be a running total we'll edit the table calculation running total of a specific dimension which is country slash region add a secondary calculation which is the percentage of total of country region again once both of these are set you can just close in this window and you can see that now your graph looks very distorted it is because your sorting is dis disturbed so you can just go ahead and sort it again on the field which is carbon dioxide emissions sum so just edit that over here and then you will see our final uh, line chart over here as we wanted to. I'm sure you might have noticed as well that our bar chart is collapsed towards the right side because we forgot to include the country slash region onto the detail shelf. So once you do that, it will be back and you can see it over here as well. So now. You can just edit the size of the bars because they look a little bit more big but this is how in the end your final Pareto chart would look like. But we still left for us to test the 20% indicator so let's add in the constant line for the 20% indicator which is for 0.2 and you can see that this is the intersection point of the 80-20 rule. You can see that the line chart is intersecting or very close to the 80-20 rule which means for this particular Pareto chart and we can conclude that it follows the 80-20 principle or the 80-20 rule over here. I really like to format my charts a little bit more like make sure that the grid lines are not too dark or something like those changes. So I'll just go ahead and edit my grid lines over here as well and make them into broken lines instead of using solid lines over here of a lighter shade so that they don't stand out a lot on my viz but I still have those as part of my references right so I'll keep them a little bit lighter in shade I would also like to have my headings a little bit bolder and formatted to a darker shade with the background so that they stand out on my dashboard and also fill the dashboard with a lighter gray color so that it looks all neat and clean Right, you can remove the row dividers and the column dividers from the dashboard as well. Now, as you can see, you have your X axis and the Y axis. You can also add in the label if you would like to and make sure that these labels follow the same consistent colors as your marks. So now I have them over here as well. I'll also make them a little bit more bold so that they stand out as well and it's easier for us to read so you could know the ones that really need attention over here based on the color coding. So with that we are able to complete a Pareto chart tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video where we spoke about the 80-20 rule and also about how to read a Pareto chart. With that I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you who have been diligently watching my videos and if you are here please don't forget to like this video and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.